In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add page numbers to a specific page on Google Docs. Now, there isn't a perfect solution to this, but I'm going to show you a workaround which is working in 2024, which shouldn't take any longer than three minutes. So what you first need to do is write out your whole document. You can see I've got a cover page, I've got a contents page, and then I've got the actual text document. Now, if I scroll down, you can see this is five pages of text, and I'm gonna give you an example and show you how you can add page numbers from a specific page. So if we do it the normal way and we go to insert, we go to page numbers, we then choose layout here. It's then gonna add page numbers to the document, but it started on number one on the cover page, which isn't ideal, right? We want number one to start on the content, or maybe you even want number one to start on the heading. For the video, I'm just going to get number one to start on the second page on the contents page. Now we could go ahead and just change this number to one, but what's going to happen if we do that, the first page is still going to say number one, and then the rest of the pages are now also going to be out of sync and it's just going to mess everything up. So I found a workaround and a way that you can get your page number to start anywhere. And here's how you do that. So I've just undone the page numbers. So now we have no page numbers on this document. Now what you want to do, you want to go to file, new, and then go ahead and open up a new document. Now in this document, you want to paste in everything where you want the numbers to start. So let's say that we want to keep this page blank and we want page one to start from here. So you would copy all of this text and everything below where you want page one to be. So go ahead and copy all of this. So because we want page number one to start here, I'm gonna start copying the text here and then go all the way to the end of the document. Now it doesn't matter how long your document is, you just need to go ahead and copy all of it and then paste it into a new Google Docs document, right? So this document here has everything. This document here has everything but the cover page because obviously we don't want the page numbers to start on the cover page. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the text from this document. Now this is the first document, remember? And I'm just gonna remove any unnecessary pages. So this is gonna be the cover page and this is going to be our actual contents page where we're gonna add the page numbers and then we'll merge the two together. So page numbers doesn't go on this first page, but they start on the actual place where we want them to start on our document. So now we're gonna go insert page numbers and insert them with whatever design you want. So now you've got page number one starting where it should be on your contents page then number two, number three, number four. So now you've got everything set up. Now what we need to do is just combine your cover page to your actual document page. Now from here, you wanna go to file, you wanna go to download and download as a PDF. So this is gonna be your contents page and your page with your actual words. Now you wanna go to your cover page, go to file, download, PDF. And now what we can do is we can just merge both of these two documents together. So now you want to go ahead and go over to Google. And from Google, you want to type in small PDF. Click on the first one. And all we can do now is we can go to merge and we can now choose both of these documents. So go ahead and go into your downloads and choose both of the documents that you've downloaded. You can see here is our cover page. Here is our actual document page. If you've done it right, your cover page will just be one page and your actual document will be as many pages as obviously you've wrote. Obviously make sure they're in the right order and make sure your cover page is first. Then click finish. After you've done that and you've clicked finish, it will then combine your document. And now if you go ahead and download this final document, it's then going to show you your cover page and the page numbers are gonna start wherever you wanted them to. So in this case, they start here on one. And then you've got two, three, four, and so on. So that's how you can get page numbers to start on any page. It is a bit of hassle, but obviously this workaround, and then you can just download this from small PDF like that. If you wanted to upload this to Google Docs, just go ahead and go to Google Drive. And obviously you might want to upload it back to Google Docs, right? So go to Google Drive, then go new, file upload, and you can then upload it from your downloads. Then people will be able to see this, you'll be able to share it with people. And yeah, that's basically how you can add page numbers to any document and on any page. I hope that video did help you out.